It's the Prime Minister who is supposed to be undertaking the negotiation. It's the Prime Minister that's failed to bring an acceptable deal back. And if she doesn't like doing it, then step aside and let somebody else do it. I know it's the Christmas season and the pantomime season, but what do we see from the Labour front bench and the right honourable gentleman? He's going to put a confidence vote. Oh yes he is. Oh no he isn't. I've got some I've got some news for him. I've got some advice for the right honourable gentleman. Look behind you. Bearing in mind, Mr Speaker, the booklet that you issued this week, the words that the Leader of the Opposition said last September, would it not be appropriate for him to come back in the chamber and apologise? I cannot be expected to pronounce upon that which I did not see and which was not witnessed by my advisers and which I did not hear and which was not witnessed by my advisers. If it was one of my male colleagues on this side of the House yes, yes. that had used that expression against a woman on the front bench on the opposition, then you, sir, would take action immediately. Yes. This is not Please, would you deal with it, as you often do, Mr Speaker, in a fair way, but also from the point of view of women in this House who are fed up over decades of being abused by men? I'm very happy. I'm very Yes, I'm very happy to deal with it. The Right Honourable Lady is absolutely right to say that if I witnessed an instance of the kind that has just been alleged, I would deprecate it unreservedly.